NanoCAD 22 has new features for the user interface, 2D drafting, 3D modeling, and in-point clouds. Drawing tabs now float. Right-click a tab and then choose Float Window. The drawing tab floats and you can drag it to another screen. And you can do this to any and all drawing tabs. However, they will lack the command bar and you can't attach panels. In the Options dialog box, you can specify whether floating windows display the status bar and or the ribbon. Click the Dock Window button to return the window back to the docked position. The Drawing Explorer panel has been enhanced with new filters to toggle visible and hidden objects. As well, it now lists 3D and dynamic blocks separately and adds Kogo points and multi-line styles. Editable path arrays have been added to editable rectangular and polar arrays. When you want to edit an element in an array, just double click it and it opens in the XREF editor. Also new in NanoCAD 22 is the ability to relocate the base point of arrays. NanoCAD 22 inserts 2D and isometric views of 3D models and layouts semi-automatically with the updated drawing view command. When it comes to 3D modeling, you can now use 3D object snaps with solids. Select the object snaps you want through the D settings dialog box. 3D blocks can now be edited in the block editor. The ribbon displays commands useful for creating and editing 3D blocks. The section command now makes 2D regions when you slice solids, meshes, and surfaces. 3D clipping boxes are now much easier to place. When you place the clipping box, NanoCAD 22 immediately shows you what it looks like. To change the size of the box, just drag a face. And to move the entire clipping box, hold down the control key. NanoCAD 22 now imports point clouds in LAZ format, which is a zip format that can hold multiple LAS files. A new button on the import dialog box displays details from the point cloud file and the new info command tells you everything there is to know about the point cloud. An unlimited number of coordinate systems can be attached including your own custom ones. And you can now export point clouds in PTS format as well as taking advantage of the new applications programming interface. In Nano 22 spell checking becomes real time as you add and edit text and drawings, misspelled words are underlined and added to the found mistakes list in the spell panel. This means you can correct words right away or else go through them in the panel. Spell checking now runs in its own CPU thread. The settings dialog box lets you exclude and include specific kinds of text objects from being checked, such as ignoring text in dimensions and XREFs. The purge command that you run at the command prompt now lets you purge draw orders from drawings. A draw order specifies which of overlapping objects should be shown on top. The purge mechanism also checks drawings as they are being opened for large numbers of annotative scale factors and unused draw order lists. The open command now uses multiple CPU cores in your computer to speed up the time to open large drawings. You control this by turning the MT mode system variable on and off. In NanoCAD Mechanica, you can now place unfolded sheet metal parts in model space alongside the folded one. And then you can use drawing views to place both the folded sheet metal part and the unfolded sheet metal part in the same layout. In NanoCAD Topo Plan, you can now place layout frames. These are rectangles that specify the area that will be displayed in layout tabs. You can now seal holes in meshes and add mesh edges to existing tin files. Other new features include creating different kinds of slopes such as fortified slopes and adding structure lines to define where buildings will be added. When you create parts like shafts with the create shaft command and then add holes such as from the library, you can now create broken out sections. Specify a center point for the section, 
choose a round or rectangular one, and then indicate the extents of the section. The hatching is added automatically. NanoCAD starts at just $200. You can try it free for 30 days by downloading it from nanocad.com.